Hi, my name is Tom Cook. I'm an emergency physician and I practice with Prisma Health and the University of South Carolina. And today we're going to talk a little bit about the quick assessment of left ventricular function. This is a critical skill for all emergency physicians, as you well know. And uh, this is just an example of how you can sit down at the bedside and quickly make an assessment of how well your patient's heart functions. So uh, just to get started, we'll get a parasternal long axis view of our uh, patient today. And as you can see right away, the anterior leaflet of the mitral valve uh, moves and makes contact with the interventricular septum in diastole. And so we can see uh, that is uh, one indication that he has great left ventricular function. Um, he also has uh, excellent contraction in the axial plane, as we can see in this part of, of the image. And we can also see that the annulus of the mitral valve moves uh, quite a bit towards the apex of the heart. Again, another indicator of great left ventricular function in the longitudinal plane. And finally, we can just look at the, the heart muscle itself, the interventricular septum as well as this portion of the heart. And we can see that every time the patient goes through systole, uh, the muscle gets shorter and it gets thicker. So uh, this is just a way that I very quickly go in and assess the, the heart of the patient. I always make sure that I check off all four of those things. And uh, it's something that uh, everybody can do within about 30 to 45 seconds and really get an accurate indication of how well uh, the patient's heart functions. 